I'm going to go over how to really take full advantage of contact form 7. So this is what the contact form used to look like. And we're having some problems with the colors overlapping the white background. So one of the first things to note is that this is a premium WordPress theme. So we can check in the salient options. And in the salient options over here, there's actually all kinds of different options that you can select. And so one of them is the form styling. So previously there was minimal selected and this was off. And so by just selecting inherit from theme skin, the colors will be correct. And then this made the boxes look a little bit better as well. So once we did that, you'll notice that the form was actually dark text on a lighter or on the background. And so what we did now to really spruce this up is made it look like this. So you can see that this is a little bit more polished. And so some things that we did to this layout, just so you're familiar with how this could actually be done, is really just considering the flow of the page. And so, for example, if we want to have a button, we might want to add the, the button over here. If we have a button on the contact page, we might want to have the button that comes back to be my guest. So making them just relate back and forth to each other very easily. And so the other way we got this style is we actually adjusted the margin of this item right here. So if you come in here, you can see that it has a 5% padding, which gives it a nice cushion around this. But then going one level deeper, we actually have a negative margin. And so it says negative 42. And it says right here, don't include the pixel. And so this makes it go negative 42 pixels up which gives it this nice overlap. And then we went one level deeper with the box shadow to have small depth. And so that just gave, gave it this nice overlaying appearance. And then over here, we have that button that we originally had on the contact page. So we just copied this exactly. And so what we did over here is we edited this column with this pencil. And you can see there's an option for the centered text. We gave it a 1% padding to just make it even all around the sides. And then within this, we gave it a little small border. You'll notice on this one, I think it's only about 40 pixels tall and then it has small line. And so since this column was centered, it makes it so, oh, excuse me, it makes it so there's a nice little centered line right here. And then we also went ahead in the previous form, there were some inconsistencies with some of the messages being a placeholder text. That's what this text is. And then the other text being outside. So in the actual contact form, we stripped everything out. And so we just have it say your name, your email, your message. And you'll notice the things in required, we put this M and that makes it italicized. And then also in the actual mail section, we use, use HTML type. So this gets formatted a little bit better. So if you come to the, the new contact page, you'll see it looks like this. So you can see how just adjusting the, the buttons and adjusting this text just makes it look a lot cleaner. And we did the same thing with the um, be my apply to be a guest. We edited that form. And so right here, there, it actually says, what are three things listeners will learn? And we broke these up. And so really, all the only thing that happened there is it's the exact same thing that was already present, except we went one level further and we just added more text fields without any more uh, titles. So you'll see right here. So we said, what are three things listeners would learn? And so then we made text and then we just renamed these IDs. So three things one, three things two, three things three. And then in the placeholder text, we put the first thing is, the second thing is, the third thing is. So then in the actual mail side, you'll notice that we listed it out. So this would be that title. And then the first thing, th for three things one, second thing, three things two. So it gets broken out because if you notice on this guest, we actually have it, so this is the title, and then this is the placeholder text. So item one, item two, item three. And so we kind of just broke everything out to just make it look a little bit uh, fancier. And then we also came in here and saved this as a page template. So once you get a nice layout, you can come over here and click this template. Just like all of these, you'll notice we have my templates. So now we can actually save a template. So if you get something to look good, you can save it and it'll save all the settings. And so the first one 
that we just did to update, we named it v1.0. And then the second one with the sidebar is v1.1 with sidebar. So now if we were going to make another form, we could literally just go to create a new page, click this, go to my templates, click this button right here. It'll load this exact same thing. So then we could just change this out. So if Melissa needs a, a sponsorship or apply to be a sponsor, apply to be A, B, or C, we could change this out. And then we could change out these buttons and all of that. So this is just a little rundown of where we were. The problem was this form styling and salient was the first thing. And then we actually adjusted all the contact forms to just make it a little bit simpler. We made sure use HTML type was checked. And then we just uh, did a few modifications to the form just to make it look a little bit sexier. So that is how you can update the site using salient contact form seven and WordPress to really make your form stand out and look beautiful using a page builder like visual composer. Thank you for watching.